If you want evidence about how not cool professional wrestling is today and how relatively boring the business is, the product is, name the company, doesn't matter. Well, not my favorite, yes, especially probably your damn favorite. We all largely blow. I look every day online between wrestling sites, social media, and I sit there and I say, oh my God, it is that effing boring that this is what we're talking about. This gets column space. This gets impressions on websites. Like we're that desperate for anything that could even be remotely interesting pertaining to professional wrestling that this is the shit that gets the airtime. This is the shit that gets the discussion. I mean, I've always said to those that say, you still watch wrestling. These are the same type of fucking idiots that will watch like the Kardashian sluts and all these other reality shows and swear to God they're fucking real because they're morons too, just like we are as wrestling fans. They're no different. They're no better. They're idiots. Same ones that'll talk about like Game of Thrones when that show was on or other shows and talk about them like they were real. Like they don't see the irony in them mocking wrestling fans. Now, granted, wrestling fans certainly do not do themselves any favors as a community as a whole in terms of the way that we come across, the way we look, the way we act, sometimes when you're in person, the way they smell, um, the discourse that is had on the internet, etc. But, goddamn. Sometimes I wonder if part of that is also just the fault of the wrestling industry and just how incredibly boring it is right now for the most part. And you will have those that would probably come into the comments on this video and say, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Jeff. It's hotter than it's been in years. Is it really? If it's so hot, how come more people don't watch it? How come more people don't talk about it? Especially here in the U.S. It's because you enjoy it doesn't make mean that it's great for everyone, to which you might respond with, just because you think it's boring doesn't mean that it's boring for everyone, to which I would say, touche, except for one small problem. Is you look at the lower viewership, you look at the types of interactions you see talking about professional wrestling, I have more empirical type of evidence that supports my viewpoint here. And what's happened over the past few days, this debate, this dialogue, this discourse, around a goddamn wrestling t-shirt just goes to show how whack wrestling has become. People debating and arguing back and forth, not about a character, not about which show is better, what brand is better, what company is better, not about what wrestler is better, not about what finishing moves, you know, any number of damn things. What show is better? A t-shirt. A God-blessed t-shirt. Drove several days of discussion and debate among the wrestling fans online. Let's take stock of that for a second and think about how pathetic that truly is. A fucking t-shirt. That's how sad this shit has gotten. And honestly, what I find incredible about this is that there's even a lot of debate here. Honestly. This is Britt Baker and apparently AW. They put out this shirt that shows her with a shiner. And of course, people with a logical kind of rational reaction said, hey... That looks kind of fucked up. That kind of looks like you're glamorizing trying to profit off of domestic violence. The optics of it, the look of it. Which, of course, you know, Britt Baker being a modern wrestler with absolutely no backbone and being the type of entitled brat that's used to getting their way and having incredible insecurities. Most of them do in the business now. That's why they don't get real heat. That's why a lot of the shit they do is boring as hell. That's why they have to resort to 
the extreme shit and the fucking flips and the kicks because they don't know how to connect with the audience in a different way because they're too goddamn emotional and insecure to be able to do the right things that are necessary to get the type of heat that can actually make them some real fucking money. Brit's one of them. D-M-D. Burying Thunder Rosa. Whatever. But of course she responds, because God forbid anybody actually disagree with something that she puts out or says, or criticize anything she put out or says. And I'm sitting there and I see this, and I've largely stayed away from it. And I just... The, the false equivalencies that she's drawing with the damn male t-shirts with the fucking... It's just fucking different. And as a woman, you would think Britt Baker would be like, Doi, this is not the same thing. Society kind of expects, fair or not, men to be fucking stupid. And you see a shirt like that with fucking dudes that look kind of dirty or grungy or whatever, and it looks like there's blood on the shirt. That washes as a society more than it does some dude. Imagine some dude walking around and here's this white chick on his damn shirt with a fucking black eye. Oh, what a conversation starter, is it really? Hey, what the fuck you going on? You showing off what you did to your girl? What the fuck is that? You trying to send type type of message? Like if we can't just fundamentally agree that people that outside of the wrestling bubble will take one look at that shirt and say, that's really fucked up. Take one look at that shirt and a lot of them say, why are you s looking like you're celebrating a woman with a black eye? Like, what the fuck is up with that? If you can't understand how that would come across outside of the wrestling bubble, then you're delusional. Disconnected from reality. As the wrestling bubble has increasingly become over the years. It's true. Wrestling went in the course of a couple of decades from helping the Jerry Springer show become the kind of national and international phenomenon that it was. Oh yeah, wrestling had a major part in that. From the talent that appeared on the show to the, the people that booked and wrote the shows. I, mean, I was so heavily influenced by wrestling. It didn't make any damn sense. And it was logical. The fuck do you think Crash TV came from? In the 90s, talking about the Attitude Era and the Monday Night Wars. But, we're talking again about Britt Baker and this shirt. This is just really stupid and dumb. How's anybody even going to see this AEW? How are they even going to grasp that? They're going to take one look at you and they're going to look the other fucking way. Or somebody's going to confront you about it. It's just a really dumb, stupid look. But then I also point to, like... The wrestling journalists, the wrestling media, the wrestling fans. And kind of a reality check here. Most average people are going to have no damn clue who the hell Dr. Britt Baker DMD is. They're going to have no fucking clue. And the reality is, how many people are even going to buy a shirt that looks like that bullshit? Like, is the outrage outsized compared to the reality of the business or money that that shirt would make? Certainly, I would think so. This demanded days of discourse and debate over a fucking t-shirt that will probably be lucky to sell a couple thousand units? What's the likelihood that anybody would even be seen in public wearing one of these fucking things? Either we gotta find a way to have better discussions and conversations about professional wrestling or professional wrestling has to do a better job of filling the void by being better at their fucking job to entertain us better so we don't get distracted by dumb dick shit like this for days. And the bluest of blue fucks is wrong with everybody. From Britt Baker trying to defend this shit like the petulant brat she portrays herself to be at all times to Tony Khan and AEW apparently rubber stamping this and saying, Hey, I look at that. I don't see a problem with that. It's good to go. Charge them twenty nine ninety nine. To the fans that have spent days going back and forth on this. This is a 10-minute video for me 
or so. That's about all it fucking gets. All it deserves. This whole damn thing has been stupid. And everybody involved with it should be embarrassed. Britt Baker should be embarrassed. AEW should be embarrassed. All of the people going back and forth about this dumbass, largely irrelevant topic should be embarrassed. That's all I gotta fucking say about that.